I'm Nez and I'm up in the kitchen and this time we're gonna be doing a review on the BAM the Zevro Sugar and More Portion Dispenser um, basically this is one of those um, easy dispensers that you can use it to uh, um, hold and uh, dispense your sugar salt pepper whatever you want to put in it you know that's a powdery type substance um, this could uh, dispense it for you and it has um, um, ways of determining what portion sizes that you're dispensing on each dispense so let's uh, let's talk about let's go around the box take a look at see what we got here so this is your artwork on the front there's the name of it Zevro sugar and more this is what the product looks like it says portion control side of the box same thing other side of the box some information you can pause it and read it <clears throat> top of the box more artwork bottom of the box barcode back of the box more information again you can pause and read it it's in multiple different languages so pick your language Down here you got your address, so in case you need to write them for some reason. And then you got another barcode, which is the same as the bottom, I believe. So, that being said, let's get into the box, see what we're working with. Okay, when you open the box, keep in mind doing one-handed people. You got the device here. <clears throat> you got some paperwork here. Basically, basically some more instructions. I ain't reading it. Okay, it's wrapped in plastic camera here a little bit okay it's wrapped in plastic okay and here's a device it's kind of clicky this is what it looks like let me turn it around so you can get the glare this is how we're looking right now shiny in the front I imagine this will be chipping off after some usage but it's shiny for now going around it the bottom that's where all the you know sugar or salt or whatever comes out of in the top up here uh, you can also uh, have your salt come out of there or pepper you know whatever you have in here and this is also how you would oh and you can have a direct pour turn it that way okay and um how you open it up or this is how you open it up right here it pulls right off I imagine boom just like that comes right off inside inside here okay these are These are okay. This is uh, your one ta tablespoon measure. So I imagine you put this probably in the bottom. Yeah. So that means this bottom part comes off. So you put this in the bottom, and then whenever you squeeze it, it measures out. Um, a, is this? Yeah, this is one teaspoon here. And here goes a quarter teaspoon measure. And the one that's in here is a half a teaspoon. So every time I squeeze it, I'm gonna get a half a teaspoon. Boom, half teaspoon, boom, half teaspoon. When you squeeze it, you see it opens up and it only, and the way that is designed, when it closes, it, um, it looks like it fills up a certain amount. And so that way we open it up, only that amount comes out, just like that. So let's, um, right now in here you see a, I don't know if you can read that, but it says open on this side and lock on that side. You push that way to lock it, this way to open it. And right now, something this just popped out. So that means something. So I should be able to open this up somehow, I imagine. slides out maybe 
Maybe I should read the instructions. <laughs> See how to change these out. Right now I'm on a half a teaspoon. So if I want to lock it, I got to squeeze it and put it back to lock. And to unlock it, I just hit it. So does that mean this comes out? Okay, you can see the doohickey in there. There's got to be a way to pull this out and change it. Maybe I should read the instructions. Let me take a look at the instructions right quick. Okay, according to instructions, it looks like the bottom, the whole thing comes apart. So I think the bottom comes off. Um, cleaning. Yeah, someone changing different language, so everything's on this right here. That's right, the measuring tool handle tilting slightly, lining up, pull the screw slightly. So, right now that's on unlock. I don't have to unscrew this bad boy, do I? Oh, that popped out. Okay, there you go. I don't know how I did it, but okay. So you pull, you pull forward and you slide it right out. And you see those little doohickeys in there? That's what how you change out. So right now I'm gonna put one full teaspoon. I'm gonna put that like that. Boom. And boom. Now the new piece is attached in there. So this goes like that and then that slides up in there like that and now I'm back in there and then I put this to lock and now it's locked bam it's simple as that now one tablespoon or one teaspoon I should say now to do it real quick again unlock bam like that and once you unlock it, that should come right out. It's not working. Oh wait, maybe. Okay, you have to pull it forward. That's how you get it. This, you gotta pull this out a little bit after you do it, and then it brings it out. And then when you put it back, you push it back in, Hit lock, and now it's locked in there. One more time, a real speed there. Push it in, lock, pull out a little bit after you unlock it, and then it comes out easily. Okay. And as you see, that's your little doohickey right there. So don't lose that doohickey, because if you lose it, you're done. This is worthless. If I can get it back in now. Okay, there we go. Now I'm locked. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some sugar in this bad boy. In the interim, this has been my what I've been using for sugar. So hopefully things will move on up like George and Wheezy. Okay, it's filled up halfway with sugar. Now what I'm gonna do Put the cap back on. Okay, so that cap is on. Turn that to lock it so that way nothing is coming out. So right now, as you can see, nothing is coming out. Oh, it is coming out a little bit. Mm, that's not good. All right, so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna measure. Let me get out a teaspoon. I have some more sugar over here. We're going to measure, you see. Just to make sure it's right. Okay, so judging by this, this right here is 
a half a tablespoon. Okay, so I want to see how it dispenses real quick. That's it. Well, I don't know if you saw that, but I'm going to let you see it again. I'm going to press it in. That's it. See, I'm holding it in still, and no more comes out until I release it. Press it again. Another teaspoon. So that's like great right there. And I could just keep going. Look at that. That's awesome. I like that. I like that a lot. So now let me get my little teaspoon measure and see if it actually measures a teaspoon. Couldn't find my teaspoon measure, but I have my full tablespoon, and three teaspoons equals one tablespoon. So that's what I'm gonna do. Three teaspoons should fill this bad boy up. So, one, two, three. I'm gonna empty some out. Let's do it again. One, two, hold up, is it? Oh, I'm running out. Let me fill it back up. Okay, let's do it one more time. Three, three teaspoons. One, two, three. And there you have it, three teaspoons, one tablespoon. This bad boy works. I'm gonna say for the most part, it's pretty accurate. So, I can, I can honestly recommend this. And uh, this is your, like I said, this is your half teaspoon size. And this is your quarter teaspoon depending on how you want to measure stuff. So I'm definitely using this and I'm gonna get one of these from my mother-in-law. She'll appreciate this too. So I'm gonna say, definitely get this. So with that being said, oh, just real quick before I even finish it, let's just put this back on. And here goes your direct pour. Oh, it's closed. Here's your, here's your direct pour. So I can keep pouring until it's all gone. And then if I had it on salt, I could shake some out. Obviously, if it's salt or pepper. So you have options with this thing. So I can't be mad at it. So definitely get it. Definitely get it. Definitely get it. So with that being said, I'm Nez. I'm up in the kitchen. I've been reviewing the Zevro Sugar and More Portion um, Pro Dispenser. I'm out this piece. Get it. Get it now.